Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Tariel Sultan. In this video, I want to show you how to sync all your marketing data from social channels, from paid ads into a one dashboard and also sync these data onto Google Sheets and Google Slides so you can automate your monthly reporting to your clients or customers. More automation means more efficiency and more time saved. Sounds fancy, right? Let's put into action. Here's the app that I discovered called Sparrow. Basically, Sparrow allows you to automate your monthly report. So basically, you can merge all your social media channel as a data source, plug in into Sparrow and let the automation do its thing. And it's a really cool concept. I'm going to show you guys how to set up everything just in a moment. And the second feature is obviously sync everything into Google Sheets as well as Google Slides. And think about it. When we talk about Google Slides, normally it's a static images or numbers. However, we can make it dynamic through this add-on called Sparrow. And also, if if you are interested in this app, the link is in the description below. The currently, they are offering a lifetime deal for $59. You have 20 data source connections, unlimited workspace, unlimited templates, unlimited daily, weekly data refresh. Remember, this data need to be refreshed on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, okay? And from there, you can stack more codes to unlock more data sources and more users proceed. Also, come visit Sparrow on their home side so you can read a little bit more on their features and what they do. And the first thing we're going to do is come to your account, get everything all set. Click on the first icon. We're going to add a new data source. And here is a list of social media data source. And then they have ads, including the Facebook and Google. And they also have a MailChimp. If you're growing an email list, have an eye on the report level. Then here is a four different email server they provide for website and Google Analytics. That's a non-negotiable, right? And towards the bottom, we have a coming soon page. Basically, this is an internal user voting system. So they're going to just introduce these one, one by one, right? Right? You can see the TikTok is coming up and from there is Google My Business. And from there, we'll have Google Sheets, LinkedIn ads and so forth. How you add a new source is basically click on any one of these social media. Give that a click. Let's connect a new YouTube channel. And basically in this list, you want to choose the YouTube channel account that you have and you want to authorize grant access to Sparrow. Add this YouTube channel into your Sparrow account. For a testing purpose, I've loaded five different type of data source here. Because Sparrow is Google friendly. So what you want to do is you want to determine Determine a Google Drive folder to put all the slides, all the templates into this folder. So immediately after connecting the data source, come to analytics and come to overview. Here is all the social media and the marketing data inside of this one dashboard. You can see we have a first impression and we have how many likes generated, how many comments and how many clicks. And now click on to the second menu option. Here is social media data. You can see the follower in total, how many posts we had in that entire month and the engagement of the post profile views clicks you see these data you need to log into separate accounts on IG on Facebook in order to view these data with a sparrow you're able to pull all this data into a single sitting dashboard and the bottom you can see the demographic for IG is at this level and the gender is mainly male dominated so here is all the Facebook advertising data you can see the total ads and total reach the engagement rate the click-through rate and total spend everything is displayed in a really nice fashion here you can see towards the bottom ongoing campaign the active one the inactive ones and how they're performing and last but not least we have a website data pulled from google analytics you can see here's the account overview how many session page views and so forth all these data is really visual and super useful so the owner of the business can have a glance and to make certain decisions accordingly and now moving on to the third feature here is a charts basically you can create embeddable charts and they're individually customizable so let's create our first chart and you want to choose one data source let's say average session duration and you can see immediately we created a dynamic chart that's embeddable to your website and then from there you can customize it however you want and setting wise you can choose the date range or automatically sync the data which i would do so basically this chart is fully embeddable to your website and to your lender And now let's move on to dynamic report automation. This is one of their key features that makes this app stand out. Let's pick one of the templates. We're going to create a brand new report from scratch. And all you need to do is click on create new report. I'm going to choose the third one called the social media overview. That's going to include all these data sources. I click on next. And you want to give this report a name and choose the data source you want to include in this report. The range is going to be the last 28 days. And last but not least, you want to choose the report format in my case 
is I'm going to go with the Google Slides. You can go with the PDF or PowerPoint and the destination of it is going to be in my Google Drive. And I want to disable the Sparrow badge. So in this case, I can keep this report white labeled. And from there, I want to create report. You can see the report has been generated. Let's give that a click. I'm going to click on the top right corner to open this slide on a new tab. So here's how the report looks like. It's really high quality report as well. So this is everything we saw on a dashboard. It's also dynamically populated here. And now let's introduce the Sparrow add-on app. Click on add-on once and we want to get add-ons. In the search bar, you want to type Sparrow and you want to search for Sparrow app. You can see it's the first one here. From there, you want to click on install and you want to install it as a Google add-on. And now let's close it. You can see once you have it installed, you can open this panel at the bottom right corner and click on the Sparrow app. Here is my workspace I created in Sparrow and it automatically detected it. Automatically refresh schedule is currently turned off. Let's give that a click. And now what we want to do is create a new schedule so it will refresh this entire report automatically. Just click on create and you want to choose the refresh frequency either daily, weekly or monthly. I want to do every 12 a.m. in the morning. It will automatically schedule and refresh all the data on this report. That means the client come to this one report, all the numbers will fluctuate every single day. And from there, let's create a new schedule. If you want to customize a report, for example, you want to put a number on top of this thank you. And now what we want to do is quick insert. We want to enable the placeholder. Click on one of these placeholders type of the field. Give that a click. We want to do either account metrics or we can go with the charts or tables. So in this case, let's go with the metrics. Profile view is one of the really good ones, right? Date range is last 28 days. Irrigation is default. Format is default. Labels default. Everything is pretty much all set. And now once you're ready, click on insert metric into your Google Slides. You can see automatically inserted a field. This looks like a static number, right? However, it's a dynamically updated field. What you can do is basically drag it around. You can change the font, the layout, the format and the color and all that. It's super customizable. Whenever you're ready with the composing the doc, just click on the share icon on the top right corner. It's going to open this pop up, right? You want to modify it to anyone with a link or only share it within the organization. I'm going to copy this link, come to incognito window. And this is how your client to see all their social marketing and the marketing data inside of this Google Slides. And then last but not least, here is the last feature, which is a Sparrow app into Google Sheets. Here's a brand new Google Sheets I just opened. Remember, we installed the add-on on the entire workspace. Click on that arrow one more time, and you can start using Sparrow add-on into your Google Sheets. Before we click on quick insert, first thing we want to introduce is a data source. Here's a list of four different social media accounts that I included in Sparrow. In this case, let's go with YouTube. Let's introduce the follower metrics into the Google Sheet. Now, if I click on once, and you can tweak all the settings, however, you want and click on insert metric. You can see the first sale here is 2591. That's a pulled from YouTube metrics. That's a follower gained right of the month. This sale will automatically update itself every 24 hours. This is how you are able to load all your social media metrics onto Google Sheets and get it dynamically updated. So that is a wrap up of this entire app review called a Sparrow. Now questions back to you guys. What do you think about Sparrow app? Do you see yourself using it for your own business or marketing use? And drop some comments below. I'd love to hear your story and how you can get the best out of this app. This is Toriel Salton signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.